what are some top 25 teams that I should watch to see some close and exciting games? Ooh, okay. I, I, I've, got a, I've got a couple that I've, I've been thinking about here. All right, you go first. You want me to lead off? All yeah. right, so uh, I'm going to start with Notre Dame. Right, Notre Dame's schedule has a lot of games to where, like, I think they're going to be favored in most of their games, thus they're like a top 10 caliber team. But they got enough games to where you're going to see games that are exciting you know, pretty deep into the third quarter. They also play a schedule that involves, what, SEC, ACC, Pac-12, Big Ten teams. So, so you see a lot of different uh, parts of the country come to play Notre Dame. You see a lot of different styles that Notre Dame's going to play against. I mean, they're, they're a pretty good TV product as well. NBC does a you know, a, a good job with the broadcast, uh, if we can say that. You know, I know CBS is our parent company. But, uh, like, overall, I think Notre Dame is one I would throw out there. Uh, if you want close and entertaining, not always high scoring, but but Auburn has got to be in here. They always have the absolute that's craziest true. stuff. Like That is true. I didn't, I didn't put Auburn in my group, but that's true. <laughs> Auburn plays, like, like, Auburn games are like the last two minutes of an NBA game for the entirety of the Auburn game. It's like, wow, how did – how did that happen? I, I think Texas is another one that this year they they could you know could have some nice close games. They should be pretty entertaining. Um, th- those are, are three of the ones that really stuck out to me. Well, like if, if last year is any indication, UNC. I mean, you're a Clemson guy of uh, Clemson, cool Joe, cool Clemson fan. So maybe you know UNC, but like Mister Fourth Quarter Sam Howell certainly made things exciting pretty much all year last year. Win or lose, Wisconsin, like. That's just that's their nature is just to play things close, get in rock fights, just just grind it out. And this is going to be really grinded out style this year because they're, they'll be down a little bit offense, up a little more on defense, more of a running back by committee deal. Wisconsin is going to play in a lot of really close games. I think UVA is sort of the Wisconsin of the South. I think UVA with with Keaton Thompson is going to be a team that's that doesn't blow teams out, but is is low scoring and kind of deliberate in their pacing. And then uh, I think Tennessee and Arizona State are, two, are also going to be some teams that are going to be good, but not really the blow it out type of squads. Arizona State absolutely is a great pick here because just even though I think they should open it up a little more, uh, Herm manages his games like an NFL thing and like they run the ball probably too much i mean like if we're talking about it on an efficiency basis they, they really like to run it they, they like to slow the game down there i mean those games that, that they play they they don't have a whole lot of possession i mean like arizona state's like all right we get the ball nine times cool let's go that's uh that's that's enough for us we'll, we'll be home in time for uh early bird special um i mean they're they're definitely a, a team to watch